And scientists are racing to figure out what makes the Omicron variant so much more infectious than earlier forms of the virus. Researchers now say they've discovered a set of mutations that helps the virus hide from the immune system. ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth to explain how that knowledge could unlock future treatments. From New York to Hawaii, 14 states are reporting higher daily caseloads than at any point in the pandemic, all because of the ultra transmissible Omicron variant. Now, new research from UC San Francisco is highlighting the genetic mutations that could be the key to Omicron spread and offer a new way to stop it. We think we've uncovered a, a new drug target that has great value. Dr. Nevin Krogan says Omicron has a new twist on mutations they first discovered in the Alpha variant, then later in Delta. In a new paper in Nature, he and his collaborators show Alpha used these mutations in a region called ORF9B to hide itself from the immune system during the initial hours of infection. This is like a smoke screen. The cells don't know they're infected, um, and that gives the virus a chance to ultimately um, replicate um, within the cells. He says these mutations allow the virus to make lots of proteins that act like smoke, blocking the body's alarm system. The scientists still need to run more tests on Omicron, but their theory is that Omicron's smoke screen and ORF9B is as good or better than alphas, and other scientists agree. I think from the standpoint of its ability to get around the world as fast as it has, that is the key protein. UC San Diego's Dr. Robert Schooley says this smoke screen is so important because it delays the molecules that cause coughing, sneezing, and other symptoms. And so it allows the virus to grow uh, extremely rapidly while we're out uh, playing beach volleyball and don't even know we're sick. In the lab, Alpha's smoke screen only lasted about 12 to 24 hours. But scientists say that's plenty of time for an infected person to unknowingly spread the virus to others. So if we could come up with an, a drug that would stop this smoke screen from happening, it could have a very profound effect here. Dr. Krogan says a drug that could block ORF9B could not only disable Omicron, it could treat whatever variant comes next. And his lab is already working on finding such a substance. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. Another study in Hong Kong found Omicron replicates about 70 times faster than Delta in the upper airways, but it doesn't make as many copies in the lungs. Scientists say that might explain why Omicron appears to be more transmissible, but less severe.